Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a GMC Sierra. That generation right here from year 2007 to year 2013. If you have one of those, you need to find where the engine starter relay is located. Which relay you need to check where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way, do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmission, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. We have more than 13,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in future repairs. We have anything from American to German vehicles, Asian, uh, anything guys. So now uh, if you need to find, let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find a video for a starter fuse or uh, you need to see where the starter relay is located all we have to do is just come find that on our channel it will take you about a minute or two to watch it you fix it you're back on the road guys so that's why we're making all these videos for your convenience so let's go ahead and start on it now so the engine starter relay where you can find it so we'll demonstrate guys on that generation GMC Sierra here you guys have multiple fuse boxes in that GMC Sierra and today we'll work in one that's under the hood. Open the hood there guys and on the driver's side if you come look next to the brake pump and the brake fluid reservoir you have that electrical box. Open that cover underneath you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So the engine starter relay, you have one relay. If you want to see where the engine starter fuses are located, you have a hidden fuse guys. We have the video on our, our channel, we uh, really want you to check it out because most people will not know about that hidden fuse. You have actually two fuses for the engine starter. If you need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools for GMC Sierra or any car at a good price, quick shipping, we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them, check it out, you can save a ton of money. The starter relay guys, okay. If we come right here in the middle, you can see these three relays. That one in the middle right here, that's your starter relay right there. Hopefully guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching, see you next time.